Hey everybody, welcome back and welcome to the other side of the camera. I thought I'd take this moment here just to thank you guys for signing up, subscribing and participating in the channel. We're over 2,000 subscribers, which is approximately 2,000 subscribers more than I thought I would ever have. I never actually sought subscribers, but I'm glad you guys are joining in because it makes the channel much more enjoyable for me when there's a conversation between us and when you can come back with some of uh, your own experiences that help me shape my view of whatever topic it is I happen to be dealing with at the moment. So I just wanted to say thank you for that and uh, keep up the good work, keep up uh, your uh, comments and suggestions and bringing in your experience because I think others who may not be subscribers or who are subscribers but may be coming to a topic for the first time can see what I say in the video and then can see our discussion afterwards to get a bigger, better picture of that particular topic. Um, going forward, there are a few things that I want to be doing. One of them is this little micro or mini PC. Many of you are using that and have that out at your telescope and then communicate wirelessly through it and while all the data get collected over a short USB cable into the hard drive. And so I'm going to be trying that out before too long. I kind of want to do it during the winter months or colder months here in Texas, which there aren't many of, uh, just so I can avoid the heat buildup that this little guy might see when it's actually outside. But that's one of the things I want to experiment with and see if I can get rid of that 15 meter USB extension cable where I've had some issues from time to time in, in uh, getting data. A couple of other things I want to take a look at will be the uh, harmonics, uh, gear harmonics and uh, mount construction within my seed gym. I've done this before. One of my earliest videos was taking a look at guide logs, PhD2 guide logs, to try to infer back how much of my seeing or how much of my guiding problem was seeing and how much of it was mount uh, mechanics, if you will. And it's that kind of analysis and those kind of analyses I like to do that give me the reason or the justification to go the next step and either buy an off-axis guider or buy a new mount or heck, according recently, just going outside and getting some images of Mars that I might not otherwise have done it had I not done some back of the envelope calculations to show that, wow, it really does make quite a bit of difference. So anyway, I tend to use math a bit more than maybe than, than others. So uh, you'll forgive me if uh, on this particular video, you're not slapped across the face with a plot or an equation. It's just a simple thank you. And I appreciate you guys participating and we'll look forward to the next 2000. So take care and clear skies. See ya.